charged conductors and equipotential surfaces. It's Kisembo Academy and thanks for tuning in. In any conductor there are charge carriers which are free to move and if the two regions of a conductor are at different electric potentials then charge will move from one region to another until the two potentials are the same. Now the art of charging conductors alters its potential in the region where it is charged. Now what does that mean? It means that having a charged conductor means that the charge redistributes itself and as such at equilibrium every part of the conductor is at the same potential. Now if they are having the same potential it means that the VDX will be constant and so the intensity within a conductor will always be equal to zero. Hence no electric field lies within the material of a conductor. Let's look at a few illustrations to further this point. If we look at these illustrations, we are having here a solid conductor and this is a hollow one. In the solid conductor, we said that inside there is no field, the, the, the intensity is equal to zero and the potential inside will remain constant. For a hollow conductor, we, rem we said that there is no charge that resides inside a hollow conductor from our Faraday's experiments that the tutorial we covered much earlier. No charge is, resides inside the hollow conductor according to the Faraday experiment, so meaning that the intensity inside the hollow conductor will be zero, but the potential difference will be constant. All the charge is residing outside the surface. So if we are to look at the variation of the intensity E, and the potential V, this is how our graphs will look like. If looking at this graph here, we are having this axis representing the distance R from the center of the conductor. And uh, here, this is the, the intensity. So within the hollow conductor, I mean within the solid conductor, the intensity will be zero. That is where our line there is moving at the zero line. Then moving from outside the value outside the conductor onwards our value of e will vary the intensity will be inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the center e as shown so down here is a variation of the distance r from the, the it's the variation of the distance from the center of the conductor and uh, the potential and from here we see that the potential within the conductor is constant the potential within the conductor is constant but as you start moving out of the conductor outside the conductor the voltage i mean the potential is inversely proportional to the distance from O, from the center of the conductor. The same goes with when it is a hollow conductor. We have more or less similar diagrams like before. This is a graph showing the variation of the distance from the center and the intensity E, and the downer one is showing the variation of the distance from the center and the potential. This is quite similar to that for both the solid conductor and the hollow conductor. Simply subscribe to this channel if you want more of these tutorials. And for the benefit of your colleagues out there that would like to watch more of these tutorials, simply share this video. Speaking of surfaces that are having the same potential, it brings us to the concept of equipotential surfaces. Now, what are equipotential surfaces? These are two-dimensional surfaces which over the electric potential is constant and it means that work done in moving a charge from one point of that surface to another is zero. If you are having, if this was an equipotential surface it would mean that the work done in moving a particle from this point to that point along the equipotential surface is zero. The direction of the force on an equipotential surface is always at right angles to the surface. And so, if we are to, uh, some of the properties of these equipotential surfaces is that the work done along the equipotential surface is zero. We also have another property that we should not, that we should keep in mind that the electric field intensity along the surface 
is always also zero and also that the surface the equipotential surface is at right angles to the lines of force this brings us to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching simply subscribe to this channel for more and for the benefit of your colleagues out there that would like to watch this tutorial simply share this video otherwise thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next video for example academy this is an old ranga kuramia